Why would a cynic be offended by fantasy? I just came across the sentence. Like most people today, Judy was a cynic and was offended by the slightest hint of fantasy. According to the dictionary, a cynic is a person who believes that people are motivated purely by self-interest rather than acting for honorable or unselfish reasons. Then, how does cynic fit into the above sentence? There are three definitions of cynic according to the American Heritage Dictionary. A person who believes all people are motivated by selfishness. A person whose outlook is scornfully and habitually negative. A member of a sect of ancient Greek philosophers who believed virtue to be the only good and self-control to be the only means of achieving virtue. Use of the word to mean the third of these is rare nowadays. The speaker of your sentence presumably had the second definition in mind and you looked up and found the first. The historical note includes the explanation. When cynic first appeared in English in the 1500 as it referred to the cynic philosophers, but cynic and cynical were soon applied to anyone who finds fault in others in a contemptuous or sneering way. So in this case Judy would be offended by a fantasy as she would be offended by or affect to be offended by anything else finds fault in a sneering or contemptuous way and the more pleasant or agreeable the fantasy the greater the scorn of the cynic maybe the offended cynic does not have any imagination and views products of the imagination with suspicion like so many modern people the offended cynic refuses to be reminded of the missing portion of their humanity but prefers to accuse others of ignoble motives well Noah Webster's 1828 American Dictionary of the English Language actually has a very different definition of the word cynic that's quite different from any other dictionary. Cynic, cynical, a, gr, canine, a dog, having the qualities of a surly dog, snarling, captious, surly, currish, or steer dot cynic spasm, a kind of convulsion, in which the patient imitates the howling of dogs. Translated into the modern tongue, they have a bitchy personality mate. People in a mean and sour mood, snap pinner and snarlin at whatever possibly just because they can. I suppose it's quite an apt and amusing way to describe the sort of people who are called cynical, although it does imply a bit more vigor than the gloomy tone we'd come to expect of the word now. If you want to support the channel, please consider liking and subscribing.